last time on Onikamo Gaming. Wow, 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 wow. Mamma mia. Yahoo! Oh, getting hit by a laser anyway. Hey everybody, welcome back to Onikimo Gaming. This is your host, Acidic, and today we're taking on Launch Octopus. The stage has four sub-bosses, as well as a heart tank. There's a trick to getting it, which I'll show you. X jumps higher underwater, so you should be able to get around pretty well despite the setting. The flamethrower we get from Flame Mammoth is useless here, which makes sense. Biscuits. Yeah, I think it's time to just break out the big gun. Not that one. That'll work. Under the sea. Launch Octopus is an arrogant and bitter individual who has secretly always harbored contempt toward the humans he was tasked with protecting. In the Maverick Hunter X continuity, he also has a flamboyant side, taking such great pride in his combat skills that he considers it an art form. What is pretty dope. Just kind of handles everything. It's the metal blades of this game. Kinda like Fat Man in MGS2. Launch Octopus was a Maverick Hunter who was part of the 6th Armada Naval Unit alongside his close friend Volt Kraken. They were both Maverick Hunters at this time. In the Japanese version, they were also called Brothers. I wanna save it. Implying they were built in the same assembly line. However, the two were separated when Octopus joined Sigma's Rebellion while Kraken refused to take part in it. Sigma swayed him to join the Rebellion via flattery, putting him in charge of an ocean base to cut off trade routes between cities. He deploys his fleet of marine mechanoloids to assault cities built on the ocean and blockade important shipping lanes. When Sigma began his Maverick Rebellion, Octopus was among the first to join him, sharing his goal of creating a nation only for Reploids. Nope. Oh, that was so close to death. When meeting Vile, Launch Octopus claimed to have expected Vile's betrayal and complimented his ambition. Vile vaguely confirmed his suspicion and shrugged off the compliment before their battle. You got a classic Mega Man rule, spikes are instant death. Stay off the spikes. If you hit spikes and you survive, it's because you are already in iframes. There's a few secrets in this stage as well. And we're actually approaching the heart tank secret right now. You have to use that turbine down there to ride the water all the way up to here, jump off onto this boat, and as you can see, you just want to nail that jewel a bunch of times while not getting hit by anything else. Ah! You sunk my battleship! Ride this all the way down. A little easier said than done. She breaks this. Let's you go down here. It's like an adventure now. Now we gotta fight this damn dragon thingy. This thing is called the Uduboros. The head and tail are the only weak spots, but it doesn't take long with the storm tornado to fell one of these. I just like to get on their backs and let out a couple shots to end the encounter. All right. Life upgrade, baby. <laughs> Banana boat. There is another one later who goes underground as well. It doesn't necessarily make it feel more difficult, but it can take a little longer if you don't eliminate it quickly. Be a fun time to try to remember a launch octopus while recording. I actually don't remember what to do. Oh, that was poorly executed, poorly timed. Oh no. Oh, that's no good. This obstinate octopus keeps you moving with a volley of ranged attacks. I completely forgot how this fight goes, so I fumbled with what weapons I had for a moment to carve out a strategy. The most effective weapon is the rolling shield. It not only negates his missile, but also stuns him with big damage. But we haven't done armored armadillo yet. 
If you happen to get the weapon off Boomer Kowanger, you can use it to slice off his tentacles to keep him from doing the Whirlpool attack. Most of his arsenal can be countered with the X Buster, if your loadout is the same as mine. The Whirlpool attack is by far his most dangerous. It leeches anywhere from 1 to 15 life, so dash away from him like he's Magnet Man in Mega Man 3. There's no need to get too close to this guy. In fact, I would recommend keeping some space so he can react to his attacks way better. Mm. Keep peppering him with the lemon shots. This isn't good. And use the larger hitbox of the charge shot to take out the homing missiles. Uh, I'm gonna do it. And you should have this cocky fool in the bag. It's better than the first time. Things we're gonna have to get a little bit, get a little bit tougher over here in this uh, water stage. Hey y'all, it's your boy Acidic. Thanks for watching the video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed the content, then please, you know, do all this stuff. If you want to support the channel, that'd be mega awesome. Please hit up the Patreon. Any support would be appreciated. I'm trying to do my own thing. I'm trying to put up some videos. So take it easy. You're going down. That's a funny octopus right there. Oh, he's just completely vulnerable to that. Uh, nothing. Barely anything. Oh, okay. This is a little bit better than I thought. Oh, he's kind of like invulnerable on that stage. All right. Oop. Getting nicey and dicey. Use a sub tank. Uh, which button? There we go. That button. That'll work. <laughs> Was it worth it? I didn't do all that much damage with all this. Shot got nice business. That's no good. That's not much good. We'll see if he's. Poorly executed, poorly timed. 